You are now tuned in to Freeing the Minds TV, home to mindful living. Peace, love, and light. Peace and love, peace and love. Beautiful night, beautiful evening. It is July 4th, you know, in America, they're over here celebrating Independence Day. And on this day in history, we also do recall the um, fight of Jack Johnson. Jeffries. We also recall the 54th, the great 54th Regiment, Massachusetts. We honor them. And all those who served and came before us paved the way for us to be here. And as we move forward into a greater condition, into a greater mind state, into a greater spiritual state, we want to start this evening with Psalms 19. Psalms 19. So let's just go right on in there and just read Psalms 19, man, and appreciate it. Man, the word is so powerful, man. It's so cleansing. It brings such clarity to mind, such groundation to self. So Psalms 19, man, let's just, let's just go right on in there, man and be embraced by the love that it provides and the strength that it endures. Let's go right on through. And it starts, Psalms 19. The heavens enumerate the glory of El, and the expanse shows his handiwork. Day utters unto day speech, and night unto night shows knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them has he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heavens and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The Torah of Yahuwah is perfect restoring the soul. The testimony of Yahuwah is sure, making wise the simple. The statues of Yahuwah are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of Yahuwah is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of Yahuwah is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of Yahuwah are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yes, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. Mm. Moreover, by them is your servant warned, and in guarding of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Who can understand his errors? Who can understand your own errors? If it ain't for the grace of God, man, who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. 
Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be right. Then shall I be right. And I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. The Torah of Yahuwah is perfect. It restores the soul. And the statues of Yahuwah are right, rejoicing the heart. The fear of Yahuwah is clean, man. Like, it gives you strength. It gives you strength, man, knowing there's a higher power, knowing there's a higher source, knowing there's something more greater and more forceful than you that you're getting your energy from, that you're getting your insight from, that you're getting your life from. You can lean on that. You can rely on that. You can count on that. You can live in that. You can trust in that, man. It came before you. It will be here long after you. We return to it as we come from it, as we exist within it. Man, never ending. Ever living, ever faithful, ever sure. Man, life is a beautiful blessing, man. Life is a beautiful blessing. If only we would humble ourselves, man, and just see how beautiful it is, man. We'd be much greater. We'd be doing much better. But this time allows us to have that moment of reflection and self-deep intuition to look into ourselves, look into our hearts and reassess ourselves, man. Like it says, man, Moreover, by these words, we are warned. And in guarding them, there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Man, just the opportunity to self-reflect. To have even that moment of regret. And then act on that in the in in act of forgiveness, man. Self-forgiveness as well as others. Moving into a better light, man. Strengthening ourselves. Forgiving ourselves where we went wrong. Forgiving ourselves where we felt bad. Forgiving ourselves where we think that we didn't live up to who we truly were. And empowering ourselves to do better. Think better. Live better. Be better. Man, self-refinement. Knowledge of self. Knowing who we are and understanding that which we are, man. Helps to only raise and elevate ourselves to be greater the greatness that it truly exists within, the greatness that we come from and extend from, we begin to empower that. So this night, this day, as we have so many alignments happening in the heavens as well as right here on earth, as well as right here within ourselves, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in the soul, man. So many alignments happen in this beautiful, glorious new moon and powerful day. Sorry, full moon. Got excited. <laughs> Full moon. Though this new moon we're supposed to be actually celebrating, according to Torah. We'll build on that later. But either way it goes, man, I wish you all love. I wish you all prosperity. I wish you all a beautiful and peaceful evening. And I look forward to speaking and seeing to you all again, man. Blessings and love. Have a beautiful night. Thank you again for tuning in. Peace and love. Peace. Visit www.freeingtheminds.com for your unique, original Freeing the Minds merchandise and apparel.